Hello, and welcome to another review. And hello, this is Chubuchun here, introducing my latest creation, Tana, the 2.0 version. And this is a work in progress. Yes, that's right, this is a work in progress. This is not the final version. And I will explain later in the finishing thoughts. As you could not tell, this figure is actually based off of a Lego Ideas creation that I've made a while back that wasn't, that didn't go through. So I decided to revamp her and I might do some more tweaks later with her. I'm not fully satisfied the way with I built her, but hey, go ahead and share your own opinions and thoughts in the description down below in the comments down below and speaking about description if you want to know the story about this character be sure to check it out in the description down below so that you can know exactly uh, who she is and where she came from anyways now without any further to do let's go straight to the review let's go straight to it up this much down this much in this much in the other way uh, 90 degree bend, upwards this much, backwards this all the way back. Can't go, can't do f full splits. O legs can only spread this much. Waist, uh, no waist rotation. There is some waist bend, but not too much. Arms, full 360. Elbows, bend only 90 degrees. Wrist, you know what to expect. Head, can turn. Left or right, and can look up this far, and can look down only this much. Wings, they can extend out, and they can bend back quite a ways. And, of course, they can fold back in. Now, as for the function, it's actually uh, pretty fun to do. Only thing I had to do was bend her forwards, and then... So you just bend her waist, and she do, she flies. It is very good for flying. So this figure, so this figure is pretty unique, to say the least. One of the main things that I wanted to put in this build is the ability for her wings to expand and contract uh, with ease, which I implemented. I like the way I made the wings. I might expand on the design later on. However, the thing that I was not fully satisfied with is the way I built the legs. Now, the legs, the issues that I have with them is the overall look. Um, this mock was very rushed. I honestly like the old legs, but the old legs were very complex, the way they were built. They were very complex, and I wanted to come up with a much more rigid and simpler design when it came to building those legs. So I opted for this design as a little bit more rigid. And oh no, that is all that I honestly had to say about this figure. So if you so if you want to see where this figure go goes or what it may look like in the end once I'm done working on it, then be sure to subscribe. Because I am pr am probably going to be taking gonna gonna it's probably gonna take a while before she is like 100% complete. Though you may argue that she looks pretty complete as is and looking great. But anyways, that would be it for this video. And like always, take it away, myself. And welcome to the end of the video. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. And of, and of course, if you want to see more content just like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button.
Actually, no, don't hit it. Just gently tap it. And also, if you want to follow me in any sorts of social media, you can follow me in any of the li links in the description down below. I have Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, Patreon, um, Pinterest, and also the TTV Mrs. Borge. And hey, check me out on Discord. Uh, the link to that is also in the description down below. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed, and like always, I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys! Oh, and of course, the new series is going to be coming soon. I just need time to make it, so be patient.